physically the body has really felt this 2,800 miles. Kevin Fern is walking across America pushing an IV pole. His goal is to raise money and awareness for childhood cancer camps. In southern Illinois, a truck pulls up with a grandma and grandpa, and they start to tell me about their five-year-old grandson who was diagnosed with brain cancer, and grandpa start, starts to cry. Kevin's personal struggle with cancer began in Lancaster County, where he grew up. Now, as he crosses this bridge, he's reliving a lot of memories. 32 years ago, when he was 18, Kevin was one of the kids at Camp Can Do. He had been diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. He remembers WGAL News 8 Susan Shapiro coming to the cancer camp and doing a story on how it helped cancer patients feel normal. He also remembers the cancer treatment. I remember what it was like for me to have a drip IV of my chemotherapy in my veins burning and the pain and getting sick. Ultimately, Kevin received radiation therapy. Little Fern, do you copy? His wife accompanies him in an RV. That's where he sleeps at night. He walks 25 miles a day. His journey will end in Boston. If I'm carrying that football across the end zone, I'm not going to fumble it. In your county, Ed Weinstock, WGAL News 8.